two. I know you lying. Three. Show the camera. Tough. <laughs> Nasty bitch. Say, bro, let me tell y'all something. I don't care what nobody see. Y'all gonna be like, well, you tripping. You can't pin that on them. You can't throw that charge on them. I know both of them been burnt before. <laughs> There's no way they haven't, bro. Cause you go to Miami. You meet some guys. They lit. They buying drinks. They got, you know, they got the marijuana. They smoke you out. They get you drunk, whatever. Them dudes on that type of time, bro. And they were stupid enough to go raw. And y'all... Man, I know y'all been burnt before. I don't care what nobody see. And I can tell you one thing, bro. The world don't need no more mothers like this. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I was reading the comments, man. And there was some pretty crazy things in the comment. Coming from women. One woman, one woman was like, oh, packing the mail is gone. Y'all know what that means. They going to hit the clinic. Get rid of it. They going to see the hit, man. You know what I'm saying? This is some degenerate activity right here, dog. Y'all got to be careful out here, bro. And imagine if they decide to keep the babies. How hard your life going to be because you're dealing with some people that don't make good life choices. Whew. Y'all boys got to be careful, bro. All Virginia ain't good Virginia. Straight like that, bro. It's the brokest thing a dude ever done for you, man. One time this man, he flew me out to Atlanta, but then he got me this rental car and it was a Chevy Spark. Do I look like a Chevy Spark kind of girl? Like one, my messages, baby, you left me on red again. Way that I'm feeling don't make no sense. Oh, earth is ghetto. I want to leave. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Guys, I don't know how many times I got to tell y'all this, bro. But do y'all not realize that y'all getting finessed out here, bro? Like, these women don't care nothing about you, dog. This girl said, do I look like the type of woman that drives a Chevy Spark? Oh, my God, man. Yes, you do. Because, guarantee, you probably don't even have a decent car of your own. Man, I be peeping, bro. Just at the red lights and stop signs parking lots drive-throughs anything bro and i know there's a lot of beautiful women ain't got no nice cars bro and these are the same women that's demanding that y'all take them out on dates to any of my women that's watching this bro y'all really got to take this in consideration imagine you got a 19 20 year old son he's still living home at the house with you and you he don't pay no bills he tell you he going on a date you happy for him boom he get back home you ask him how the date went he tells you he spent three, four hundred dollars on this little girl. Act like y'all not gonna be like, son, you got all this money to be spending three, four hundred dollars on a date for one of these little hot in the ass girls. You could be paying bills up in this bitch. See, that's how I know that these women are they're disingenuous because when you frame it like that, it doesn't make no sense, man. If your son was doing for a girl that y'all demand these dudes to do for y'all, y'all would look at this dude. You would look at your son like he crazy. I'm looking at my son like he crazy just for flying her out. Boy, what? They got better looking women in this city that you could be dealing with. You flying. Come on, man. You know what's hot, actually? Fucking fine ass bitch. A guy who can take rejection. <laughs> it's not by you. That may actually make me double guess myself. Why did you leave me? Say you approach me, right? And then you're just like, you know, you want to drink on a dance and the bitch is like not feeling you? Like, nah, like I'm good. I mean, thanks for the time anyway. Like, I'll catch oh, you later, you know? Like, if you're smooth with the rejection, it's going to make me be like, hold up. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then later on, maybe I'll bump into you again and I'll be like, how about that drink? Do it. Yo, corny yeah. ass. I'll be like, I'm good, love. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. You get your oh, lick back. <laughs> There's no bigger turn off than a guy who who can't take rejection or oh ugly anyway. yeah. But it's the truth. That, oh, that I'm bitch. Like, that I'm like, bitch. oh that my god, thank god I didn't want to talk to you. Like, god, imagine what you're gonna be like if we date. Like, yeah. that's scary. Nah, real talk. That dude come off a little corny. How about that drink you offered me last time when I rejected your bum ass? Come on, man. Don't don't man. Listen, bro. A lot of these women are disingenuous. I done told y'all that before. But at the end of the day, dog. You got to take your ball and go home gracefully, respectfully, head held high. Take that rejection, you know, on the chin because here's the thing. As soon as you start disrespecting a woman, you go into beta male. <laughs> I hate that term, but listen, that's what you go into. You start acting like a guy who don't deserve no Virginia. You start acting like a guy who doesn't have his emotions in check. And a lot of women don't like that to begin with. And quite frankly, 
it's an embarrassment to yourself. Like, don't do that. That's not a good look, bro. You don't gotta go hard after that. That girl was not worth the issue, bro. I promise you. Do you shave your cooch? Never. Um, like, I trim it once a month, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I keep it trimmed, but I'm not, I'm not for the bald effect for Just me. Just a little haircut. A little haircut, yeah, 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 I like that. Bangs. A little fringe on boat lips. <laughs> a little curtain bang. <laughs> wow, man. I don't, I, cause I can't see my coochie. What? <laughs> uh, I used to shave it, uh, and then I gave up, and then I waxed a little bit, then I gave up. Now I'm like, if you want me, you're gonna, you know, handle that because I don't want to make effort anymore. Nasty, nasty, nasty. I'm a single mom, I have two children, and uh, I want to find the real man who can handle the bush. I've been in a drought for a while, so I mean, I don't know when's the last time I did it. I mean, it might be like 1976. Huh? Down here. <laughs> I'm lasered. Like, you don't have to do it anymore? You're done? No, I don't have to do it. It's over. Y'all know what you that means, huh? Italian. Yeah. It was, it took 400 sessions. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I actually had to get a second job. It's never that serious. 400 sessions, you know what yeah. she about. <laughs> Now listen, I don't know what type of uh, educational value I'm gonna get to you guys based off this video, but I just want to touch on the lady who said it took 400 sessions to get it lasered permanently so she don't gotta shave no more. That's a woman that fully intends on maximizing the real estate down there, that Virginia real estate, bro. She's maximizing people crossing that Virginia state line, dog. She has a peace treaty between Virginia and Pennsylvania, bro. I'm telling you right now, that's what's going on, bro. Cause it's never that serious, dog. You know, even some of the most promiscuous women out here probably ain't doing that, right? I mean, I think if you lined up a hundred women right now, you probably run into one other woman who did what she did. That's all I'm gonna see. You know the biggest red pill about women being on birth control? What? They make massively different mate choices. So they did a study where they took a bunch of guys and made them not wear any cologne, deodorant. That's nasty. Anything like that for like a week. And then they gave them all plain cotton white t-shirts and made them run on a treadmill for an hour and sweat into those t-shirts. They took those t-shirts, put them in a plastic bag, then they gave those t-shirts to a random selection of women and asked those women to rate the smell of the t-shirt. Fat, stank bloated on level of attractiveness. Guess what the results were? The ones that they rated the most attractive were the men that had the greatest difference in their immune system profile. If me and this woman have two very different immune systems, if we have a kid together, that kid is gonna be protected against Wrong a girl. lot of different diseases than if we had similar immune system profile. Here's the next massive red pill from that study. The outliers in that study were women who were on birth control. Women on birth control, mate selected, it was either randomly or deliberately against their own reproductive success. If a woman's on birth control, she is mate selecting totally different to when she's natural. Why do you think the divorce rate is so goddamn high? Two people get together. She's on birth control and she likes it. They decide we're going to have a kid together. She gets oh, off birth, birth control, control, gets pregnant, and is like, this guy is a piece of... Oh, no. I don't like him. And then she divorces his ass. Because that is literally what happens biologically. Hey, you know, that was very interesting. I'm going to have to go and read up on that. But, you know, from my background in biology, I would say this. You know, evolutionary-wise, women are designed to go after the fittest man that they can get. Because that's going to ensure the longevity of their offspring, right? That makes total sense. Like, if you're living in a harsh environment, you want a strong masculine man who can... Uh, conform the land to his will be that may him being tall which makes him uh better suited to grab tall things from up high that the shorter man can't get making him more valuable and resourceful right or a stronger man who can lift up things and pull and oh we're going way back in the day before we had grocery stores and men had to go out there and hunt my thing is this the birth control pill allows women to be very very um non-selective when it comes to men and that's why i think a lot of women are very promiscuous now because if you go back to the 1960s and you start talking about the sexual revolution before the 1960s if i had sex with a woman i was expected to marry that woman bro real talk like if you knew me to be sleeping with her well, what you gonna do you gonna make an honest woman out of this woman straight up because the risk of getting pregnant was very real before birth control so if you got pregnant by a degenerate you screwed straight up you stuck like Chuck. So it was in a woman's best interest to be highly selective to the man that she's trying to lay down with. It's that simple. Then you introduce birth control to the whole mix. Women are now able to really just have unlimited sex without the consequences of having to bring a child to term.
it really changed the landscape of the game, bro. I think that's what really spearheaded the 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 movement of women going from I'm gonna be an honest woman, non promiscuous to what we just saw in the beginning of this video. These girls getting raw dogged on a Miami trip and coming back taking pregnancy tests. I think you go from that to that because of the birth control, bro. For the most part, and they're giving women ways out as far as welfare, Section Eight, food stamps, other government subsidies and shit like that. Come on, man. The rabbit hole gets deep, fellas <clears throat> and ladies. Girls will never admit that they want this in a man. Number one, tough love. We, we really, really do. do. No girl is going to say that, that she that wants regardless. to be put in her place, like but that. when a guy does it, it's pretty sexy. It really I don't know how to love no other way. For example, if you're hanging out with a girl and she's on her phone a lot, you could say, hey, I'm not sure if that was cool with other guys you've hung out with, but with me, that's not going to fly. Can you put your phone away? Like Number that. two, she doesn't want you to always be available. If a girl likes you, she might think she wants to be with you a lot, but if you allow there to be time that passes without seeing each other, maybe you only hang out once a week for the first few months, this is gonna create more longing and desire on her end. Number three, daddy energy. Assuming she has a healthy relationship with her father, she wants that in a partner. She wants someone that will take care of the family, somebody that is a masculine leader, but she's never gonna tell you that, especially in 2023. Hey man, you know what? They touched on some valuable points. I'm gonna be brief. I agree with all three of them for the most part. You can't be no dude that's scared to tell a woman what's what because she's never gonna respect you. Number two, you definitely want to never be the type of guy who's always available. And I don't think it's smart or wise to manufacture that. I think that you really need to be that way. You need to be so immersed in your hobbies, in your business, in your work, your career, whatever it is, so that you can focus on what's really important. Because here's the thing, women come in and go let's be real but the longevity that you get from putting in work and investing and investing in yourself that pays dividends that can't be taken away from you a girl can be taken away from you but your education and your work ethic really can't be taken away from you and then the daddy issue thing uh the daddy energy thing right cool i can agree with that to an extent in the beginning not so much like you're talking about my younger guys watching me man a lot of women ain't looking for no dudes like they daddy let's be real maybe in the later years when they about to approach the wall and they getting serious about settling down probably then but i'll say this <laughs> y'all dudes got it made bro most of y'all don't know what it's like to experience getting pressed by an alpha male that you trying to take out his daughter y'all don't know nothing about that bro that is some real shit because here's the thing I've been on both sides of the equation. I've dated women who didn't have a dad, so I never had to deal with that. And all you got to do is go in there and run some game on their mama, which is easy because that's all the other dudes did to her before she's susceptible to it. And she don't know how to pick a good man. That's why no man is around. So it's easy to run game on her. But on the flip side of that coin, quick story. Um, my first girlfriend in high school, her daddy was six foot eleven from the country, a man's man, bro. Like he ain't play no games, dog. The dude definitely was on some intimidation, uh, old school, uh, torturing type of shit to me. Cause when I met him, the motherfucker had ten dead rabbits in the back of his truck that he had just killed out there from his hometown that he had rolled out there early in the morning to do. I meet the man, he got on his camo gear and all that kind of stuff, and he's showing me like, bro. This is what I do, but it ain't really phase me because, man, look, I, I know about that. I, you know, I used to live in Mississippi. We got taught how to shoot rifles and shit like that. I, that don't scare me. But the point he was trying to make is, if a rabbit can't outrun this gun, your ass can't. <laughs> and it, he made it real clear to me: don't play with my daughter. He wanted to know what my intentions was. He didn't let me sag my pants. It was yes sir, no sir. It was real. It was real, like, man-to-man -man type of shit. And most dudes, I'm afraid, have never experienced that before. And to this day, that girl is married to a dude that's very successful. The daddy played a role in that. I have friends who, guys will hit me up in my DM and be like, yo, put me on with her. No. Put you on with her? This girl's rent is 8000 a month. Well, damn. Her bills, her business, her, her whole lifestyle. You, She's a boss. You already know that you're telling me to put you on with somebody that up put you on with someone that you cannot even you can't even you gotta at least match wait wait wait, but wait, wait. not even match ahead, absolutely but what absolutely. i want to say is this and and we went and i wanted to say this before but i'm glad that y'all all said this because now you're going to understand where i'm really coming from see let's take dating dating people's potential out of it and let's talk about dating people's material 
because that's the world that we live on. And that's what I, that's the problem on why I made the mistake. Yeah. You. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. You look like you don't have a 420 credit score. You have Christian Dior bags and you have red bottoms and YSL every single day. But you didn't even you don't even know how to get it. Somebody gave it to you. Well, mm -hmm. but there's men there's men out here who live off rich friends and get money off their rich friends and they're in their mansion posting in their That's in so their true. house. Our house. Our house, yeah. Our house. And then the, the girls are I'm sorry, I'm still buying stuck on that $8,000 because they're getting rent. off their materials. That's so true. And that's, what I, that's the problem that I feel like that be having. And when it comes to the partnership, that's why we be making mistakes. Because I'm looking at y'all like, oh, you could be a great partner because you have X, Y, and Z. But I don't know how you got X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. and, and because we think that it takes certain work ethic and drive and certain types of princip principles to get those things, we kind of confuse it and then we end up dating out of our league and those persons are tricking the people to date out of their league as well. But when I say date at your level, I don't mean that in an offensive kind of no, way. No, this is offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying to say like, I have these things and you don't have them, so you a bum, get away from me. Yeah. That's exactly what that's you said. That's not how I mean it. I just mean, you're not there yet. Yeah. And that's okay, because we weren't always there. Just date at your level and you can get there eventually. I'm just saying, if you can't even match what this woman is bringing to the table. Why are you there? I don't know. But can I ask you don't know how they do I, I, I feel as if like, cause it's not always, and I'm not even talking about money. But I wanna just ask y'all a real I question. Don't agree on that Why though. is it a prerequisite when a woman has something that a man has Please, to be? See, I Let don't, just, can I I don't say, agree can with I just that. Let the man talk, man. Why, why is it a prerequisite if, for example, 420 credit score, 820, for a man, it's, for me, it doesn't matter to me about your credit score. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me. You don't have to look like y'all look. You could pull up in sneakers and a sweatsuit and I can see your value. I want to so, answer that. Okay, so I'm, I'm I'm just curious to why when 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 the woman's a boss, they need a boss. When a man's a boss, he needs a partner and he needs a companion. Because Speak. Because no we matter what, whether well. we're a boss or not, mm -hmm. that moment is going to come where we're more than likely going to have children and we need to be there 100% for that child and no matter what nature is nature the man was made to provide for the home you got these muscles you're, I'm skinny. you're supposed to do certain things and a woman is supposed to <laughs> do certain things I don't agree and with I, that you don't I, do I, personally, that. I personally I do not feel agree with that I hey man like I said a couple of days ago man a provider has been reduced down to his lowest form in it just means you're a trick these days because the first thing she said and I'm, I'm, i know y'all probably thinking like man why this man going through his phone because i was trying to see what like rent costs in new york and you, that's one of the most expensive places to live and like you can get an apartment in manhattan a three bedroom i'm talking about some nice ass shit for eight bands a month but why is that necessary she don't even sound like she's from new york man my home girl rent eight thousand dollars a month man y'all is out y'all mind bro these women that are on this panel the type of women that they are, they're nothing but liabilities, man. A liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. And then she's talking about, well, when I have kids, I'm gonna make sure I need to make sure you're gonna be able to this, that, and the third. Basically, what she's saying is this: if I have kids, all that bullshit going out the window. I don't want to be a boss no more. I want you to come up, step up to the plate, and take over all of this, um, all of these bills, all of this debt that I accrued, all all of this liability. You gotta foot the bill so that I could be a nurturing mother. Come on, man. Bro, y'all be falling for the okie dokie, man. You know, yesterday I'm on Facebook. I said $200 for a first date is crazy. And then they started telling me I'm broke for thinking <laughs> I could buy your whole life, man. You understand what I'm saying? Like, literally, I could eat $200 meals twice a day, every day of the week for a whole month and still have more money left over than what you bring in for a month. And this is who they telling. Now, nah, if you can't afford it, don't just don't just don't bring them. Ma'am, it's the principle. I don't know you. Why would I bring you on a two hundred dollar date the first? Mm -mm -mm. Boy, they getting me hot, man. <laughs>